hey guys welcome and welcome back to the channel if you are new here my name is Catherine, and my daughter here is adobe i realized that we have a lot a lot of new members to the channel so i want to quickly use this opportunity to welcome you all do stick around you're definitely gonna love it here okay so let me not ramble too much and go ahead to start explaining what i am doing here you guys just saw me parting two lines and that is what i have in the middle i have like a pattern in the middle yeah which i am currently moisturizing and then go ahead to comb out just for easy patting and after that i will start by patting out a slant line like this which i will further put into braiding or which i will further braid out and after braiding out this one i will again pat a slant line on the other side this whole pattern will be giving me triangle vibe yeah this is triangle pattern so i'll pat out this line as well and i'll braid out on this other side so i'll continue with this triangle pattern style and braid out till i am done with every hair in this middle part so you guys in case you're hearing any sound in the background i am really sorry adobe is here somewhere watching cartoon on her tablet and i can't get her to you know not watch it or not to be here because we're in a confined room i know i'm not making sense but that is actually it so <laughs> i am deeply sorry okay So I'm done with this part, like this middle part. Next, I'm going to pat out a straight line at one side of her ear, apply in some shine and jam, then go back with my sectioning comb to clean out the line. Then I will pat out another line, you know, kind of slant or whatever, which I will go ahead to start uh, feeding in to the front. Like I will start feeding in from the middle or center to the front so keep on watching you will understand what i mean so while at that while you know this whole braiding will be going on i know you guys are watching this and you understand what i'm doing without me explaining i would want to chip in i want us to gist so in the course of welcoming our new members to this beautiful family please i would love to know where you are watching me from comment down below which country you are watching me from i will really want to know so i can get to know you guys more so we can be more interactive in the comments so i can know you all really i love knowing my person like i know a couple of you i feel like i've seen most of you even though i haven't but from your names i've started to get familiar with you all so i will really want to know the country you are watching me from right now comment down below i will be looking forward to reading all your beautiful comments okay So this is the last one in this row or this style i will go ahead to feed in like i did with the other first two and nothing tricky pretty much feeding you can just do the normal corn row no feeding at all so after i was done with that i went in to start brushing the remaining hair on this front part like on this side i'll brush it everything in and i will start coloring this time without any extension just with her natural hair so there is something i should have done i should have added some of the middle cornrow that i did those some um, triangle cornrow i should have added you know the ones that face the side to it but because it didn't work her hair is too fat like it didn't just fit in well it didn't fit in well so i decided to just cornrow it on its own all the way down to the middle to that point yeah just to that point not actually middle do just to that side and again i went into the back brush everything in you know to close to the hair close to the style 
going on at the center i brushed everything in and now i am conroying and i am adding the ends of the braid that i did at the center that is the ones facing on that side like the ones facing not everything because some are facing on the other side which of course i will add to the cornrow i will do on that side but for the ones for the braids facing on this side i will add them into this cornrow that i'm doing right now hope you guys are getting me though yeah so i'll keep on cornrowing till i get to the meeting point like where others are the meeting point not necessarily middle i'm trying to make to make everything be like a upper pattern or upper um ponytail not down not center upper <laughs> so yeah that is it for this side i'll repeat everything i did on this side again i'll go ahead to start conroying as you guys are seeing me do now and i'll be adding the ends of the braid facing this side like the braids we did in the middle i will add the ends onto it and conroll together I already done the front part so i'll just tie everything up and that is pretty much it next i have two mini bones that i'll be using to create my bone style in the middle and i have afro kinky so i'll go ahead to start crocheting the afro kinky onto the middle like where we we'll did the where we tied the whole hair together i'll be using it to crochet it onto it but first of all because my afro kinky was long i cut it into two like i just cut the middle and i started doing this crocheting it just randomly you know just so we can have something to work with for the bone and after i have gotten my desired quantity something i feel like it would be enough i went ahead to put my bone onto it like i pass the kinky hair through the middle of the donut bone then place a band onto it like i am doing now and start tucking it in exactly yeah just start tucking it in till no hair is left out no leave out and i will just accessorize using it as a means of tying it down so it doesn't unravel and accessorizing at the same time like two in one yeah <laughs> that's actually is having like two in one tying everything together so it doesn't unravel and also beautifying it so i will repeat the same process on this other one crochet the extension onto this um onto our hair and um, put the donut bone cover it up just like i did with the first one easy peasy there is no tricky thing going on here okay but hold up so because her hair is short and because if i pass the hair and the extension through the donut kinky it would make it bumpy i decided to just leave the her natural hair behind like i didn't pass the natural hair through the middle of the donut i don't know if you guys are getting me yeah i just left it down there and just passed the kinky hair through the donut and it came out perfectly fine it didn't like um give it any weird look or anything it just came out perfect and yeah that is pretty much it but hold up hold up i have to lay down her edges and uh, apply some beads onto those two hair you're seeing right now yeah this one <laughs> i have to apply some beads onto this and there is other one at the other side do the same apply the bead tie it out cut out the excess and voila pretty much easy look at my baby girl see how cute this hairstyle looks see how stylish it looks even with the numerous styles of this hair the numerous shades of this hair it is still very easy there is nothing tricky about it you can achieve this i mean if i can why can't you like really why can't you so go ahead and try out this style on your little one she can rock it for her birthday photo shoot she can even rock it for her birthday celebration she can rock it to school she can do a lot a lot with this style so if you've watched to this point and you enjoyed what you see do give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't share this video and see you in my next one bye bye